Hey, good morning. This is Mary Shores. I'm coming to you live from Champaign, Illinois. Thank you for being in the group, Fearless Ambition. I am sure that you found the group either through downloading one of the workbooks, Dream with a Deadline, or Ignite Your Dreams, or maybe you've recently downloaded these um, Power Thought cards that I'm continuing to create. So the first set already got created, and um, next week we're going to be creating 10 new ones. So that's going to be really fun. Um, someone contacted me in the group this week and asked me to answer this question for the Facebook Live this weekend, which was, how do you set goals and determine your vision and really, you know, use that power of focus if you're struggling with ADD? I found this to be a fascinating question, so I was happy to tackle it. I want to say right off the bat that I am not an ADD, ADHD expert um, whatsoever. So everything that I'm going to say is based on my own experience, based on what I've seen, and based on common sense. So the first thing that I thought about with um, ADD is that, um, well, we need to talk about the fact that Thinking of ADD being something that is a negative is simply wrong. Um, we need to first flip that mindset to understand that if you identify with being ADD, that that is a gift. That is not a weakness. It is a gift. And so I want to say that um, I identify as being ADD, and most of my friends who are most of my friends who are super successful entrepreneurs or most of my friends who are climbing that entrepreneur ladder would also identify with being ADD. So I think that the first step that we're going to talk about here is to understand that this is not your weakness. This is your gift. And the reason it is a gift is because your mind has the ability to explore and be curious about many things all at the same time. Um, in the new set of Power Thought cards, one of the powers is going to be the power of curiosity. So if you think of yourself as a curious, massively productive person, I was exploring all of these different curiosities, you, you know, that's the first step in just changing this mindset that you can't do something because you have ADD. So that's, I think, the first step. I'm going to go over three steps here. The first step is changing your belief system of what you actually think is hindering you with your ADD, seeing it as a positive, seeing it as how it is supporting you in your life and not how it is destroying your life. The second thing, I think, is to identify the most powerful and productive time of your day. And so for me, I believe that that is the morning time. Um, I study many different entrepreneurs and there seems to be a running consens consensus that their first few hours of the morning are their best. Now, there could be all kinds of scientific reasons behind that. Like we've just slept hopefully for eight hours. Um, we've just had our coffee, which has given our brain a little bit of buzz. Also, you probably have higher levels of glucose in the brain, and later on in the day, as you start to make decisions, as you start to, you know, take your energy towards this or that, it's going to deplete your glucose, glucose levels in the brain. So I think that I'd really like you to pay attention and identify what is your most productive time in the day. Now, once you have done that, um, and you could try it out, you know, if you're not, if you don't know the answer to that question right now, it's okay. Just try out different times of the day and see how it works for you. So sometimes it might be that it's in the evening time where you can really turn off your other distractions and, you know, you're focusing, you're winding down. For me, it's early in the morning, early, early in the morning. Um, and if I get on a roll, then my ability to focus is much, much better. So identify what is that best time of your day. And then the third thing, I'm going to get into this method that I have used for 
a long time. So I, <laughs> this is, this is so simple, it's almost stupid. But I think what I'm going to do is after I show it to you, if, um, if anybody likes it, I might even create some worksheets out of it so that you guys can have them and print off your own. So here we go. This is Mary's mind matrix. I've done this with a couple of my friends and it really works. I simply take a piece of paper out of my journal and I write, I draw lines across this way and lines down this way. So this is like my equivalent of a spreadsheet because, <laughs> because I don't like to make spreadsheets and stuff like that. I like to write things down on paper. You could do it on a spreadsheet, you could do it on however you want. Um, so what, what I've got here is 16 boxes. So after I've drawn my, drawn my lines, I literally have 16 boxes. And what I'm gonna put in each one of these 16 boxes is all as many things as I can think of. So part of being ADD is um, the way I experience it is my mind can be all over the place. You know, like I could be, I could be thinking about writing, but then at the same time I'm thinking, oh, I'd really love to be on this podcast, or oh, I wanna, I wanna write um, this blog. When I read, when I read books, uh, I'm never reading one book at the same time. I think I'm currently reading, I don't know, four books right now and so uh, the thing is that with ADD I think that one of the problems is how do you become a finisher so you know maybe you start reading that book but do you ever finish it and or maybe you start that project but you never finish it you know you get really excited and you go get the things that you need and you gather all the stuff around you and then you've just lost your momentum for that project and then you start thinking about something else and so this helps me figure out all of the different things that are swirling out in swirling around in my mind at the same time so actually i wrote this one a couple of years ago um it took me i, I had to go search for this journal to see what i was um what was going on with my boxes here so i this is what i wrote in my 16 boxes um it's usually just one or two words. So they mean something to me, they won't mean anything to you. That's totally okay. Social media, audio programs, creating a gratitude app, public speaking, workshops, team platform, retreats in exotic places. Well, this one doesn't, oh, consultant for debt collections, Susie Orman, level TED talk about debt, right stuff, <laughs> uh, other products, website, eBooks, workbooks, radio podcasts and MCS, which is the initials for Mid-State Collection Solutions. That's the company I've been CEO of for 19 years. And so all of these just are words of representing all of the things that are in my mind swirling around all at one time. Now, the reason it's good to get that out of your mind and on paper is because it allows my brain to relax a little bit. It, it, it makes it like I don't have to think so hard to um, hold on to all of this information because I've I've let it go now from here because like I said all of these all of these mean something um, this one right here team platform was just a that, that to me is um, a group of people that I got together at my office when I very first started writing my book uh, two years ago and I said okay who wants to be on team platform these are the goals that we're going to be focusing on you know this is the ultimate goal of team platform that was two years ago and i'm happy to say that it's all still going strong and we've identified goals and we're always pushing those things forward so once you have all of this written out you can start then in each one of them just put what one of the goals is because what you have to understand is that using ADD as your superpower means that you need to push multiple things forward at one time. I was listening to a podcast with Tim Ferriss uh, the other day and he was talking about um, super his superpower was the ability to be single focused and I can do that in short bursts but most of the time my mind is multitasking like a crazy person so for example um th this all came out of me in about one minute and 
what I have to do is write out, dump out as much information for all of these things as I can think of. Now, another one, and I did this, I need to get in much better of a habit of writing down dates. So here is another way that this can be done. So this is, this is kind of messy. That's why I said I probably like to have a create a worksheet so that you guys can just download these. So what I'm gonna do in this is same thing. I'm gonna create a chart. And at the top of each one of these, I'm just gonna put a topic. And then underneath, I'm going to write all of the things associated with that topic. So it's, it's a mind mapping exercise that allows me to keep all of these things straight. So I wanna say that I wrote the, these things down in probably January or February. So it was, it was correct that I was working on. Now here's the thing. My expectation is not that you're gonna write all these things down and hurry up and do them, but there is some sort of synchronistic magic into writing things down or talking about them where you're actually speaking them and bringing them into existence. So, um, oh, I was working on editing the book at the time and I was uh, massively worried about editing the book because, you know, I was just worried I wouldn't get it done on time. I had I had tight deadlines, and I really just keep needed to keep things moving forward. So once I have identified, like, say the, all these things that I'm working on, so use your use your ADD brain to come up with as many things that you know that you're capable of that you would really like to accomplish this month, this year, in your lifetime. It doesn't matter. The first one of these that I ever wrote was eight things that I wanted to accomplish in my lifetime. Now, here is the last part of it. Once you have your list and you've written down some to-do items for each of them, in order to be a finisher, you need to keep everything moving forward every single day. So no matter what is happening in your life, you pick three things that I can move forward today. So you can create yourself uh, in the morning or in the night before, write a, write a small to-do list, just things that, that you need to do. Because believe it or not, your brain is using energy to remember those things and that um, contributes to these symptoms that you're going to label as ADD because your mind is working very hard to hold on to things. So you need to be able to let them go. The next thing is in order to move at least three things forward every day. So it's like if I have 16 projects going on, um, I don't need to worry about moving all 16 of them forward every day, all the time, but I need to move three things forward. So think about it just as, as like a chess game, you know, you're moving your pieces forward. You know, the reason we do anything in life is because we uh, believe that doing that thing or it is going to make us happy or there's this um, feeling that I really get into which is the the moment of achievement so you know if I liken it to playing the game of Monopoly when I was a kid I always wanted to win it didn't matter how much money that I made in the Monopoly game it just mattered that I won the game that was the important thing to me so like my attachment isn't necessarily to make a ton of money my attachment is to achieve a lot of things because I feel like we all have greatness inside of ourselves and how do you bring that greatness out into the world and if you identify with having ADD then one of the things that you're gonna have to do is manage your mindset so that you can constantly be pulling these things out of your mind and getting them out on paper and out into the world. They will manifest. You have to execute. In order to be a finisher, you have to execute. So you have to say, even when you don't want to, even when everything inside of you is saying, I don't want to do this, what are three things that you can move forward? Once you've moved those things those three things forward in a, in a day, what's going to happen is you're going to have this feeling of pride and accomplishment. And that is going to give you the momentum that you need to the next day move three things forward. And so I will um, you know, put this on my worksheet list. I've got so many. This is, uh, this is just one of my little ramblings. I, I, I draw things 
So another thing I do is I um, take my ideas and I draw them out in many, many different ways. So I mind map them in, in many different formats because I find that it just helps. So here's a little, here's another one where I've done it. I've taken the, the first level of it and I've drawn it out a little bit more and then I just keep doing it and keep doing it because what's happening is my brain is sorting out the details of how to do how to do things and it starts working faster and faster and faster and the ideas become more powerful and they're all doable they're all achievable it's just you have to be moving things forward each and every day the feeling that you get back when you have moved something forward is going to change your life because when you accomplish something one day you're going to need to accomplish it the next day part of when you're you're um when you have add what you want to do is is again don't look at this as a negative don't look at this as something that's holding you back but instead when you learn to use that method write the things down so that when you're in that add moment you can just go grab back to your notebook and say okay what am I supposed to be moving forward I've just gotten myself off track another thing is to recognize that when you're having those moments when you are trying to distract yourself so um, this happens to me like I don't know you're working you're doing something you're supposed to be doing one thing but the next thing you know you have just wasted um, 10 minutes flipping through Facebook or you're finding yourself watching some like ridiculously cute kitten video on YouTube. Well, here's what I want you to understand about that. The reason that you do that is because your brain has been depleted of serotonin and dopamine. So when you go, when you, when you think you're being ADD, you're, you're, what your brain needs is dopamine and serotonin. There are other ways to create dopamine and serotonin um, in, in your brain. So one of the ways to do that is to start creating momentum. Chemists, ch chemists talk about this thing called um, activation energy. And so what that means is that it actually takes more energy to get something started than it does to keep things going. Now, I don't know a lot about this activation energy just yet because I just started studying it. It's going on my list of things that I want to study about to put in um, to put in one of my future books. But it's a chemical reaction thing, but it also works for human beings. So what that means is, you know, it's harder to get started running the marathon than it is to keep going in the marathon. So when you write down these ideas, when you are gaining the power of your brain and using that to move everything forward every single day, what's gonna happen is that personal momentum forward is going to also supply you with the dopamine and the serotonin that you need in your brain. So you'll begin to distract yourself with these other things less and less because you found an alternative method to supply your brain with dopamine and serotonin. Procrastination is the same thing. So this is really what we're talking about is, um, you know, procrastination is a cycle where you're, you're overwhelmed, so you distract yourself. So when you distract yourself, you're actually creating that, um, Cre Hello, Megan. Glad you guys are checking in. Um, you're actually creating that instant gratification of dopamine and serotonin in the brain. So you feel better for five seconds, but then what happens is an hour later, you actually feel guilty because that guilt is now going to cause these negative chemicals to begin to... Um, flood your brain and your body. So then you're gonna, you, you know, your guilt, now you're, now you're pushing out your adrenaline and your cortisol, and then you feel bad about yourself, which just starts the cycle over and over again. So I actually created a five-step process called um, Breakthrough. We don't really know what we wanna call it, but you know, break through your breakdown, or break through your barriers, break through your break point. You know, we get these points where we just think, can't do any more, but, you have to break through that. You have to break through that. You have to break that cycle of procrastination. Um, Megan, you just joined in, but what I was saying was, we sort of have this belief 
that ADD is an obstacle, but the truth is that ADD is a superpower that allows you to become a massive, massive achiever. It's just getting everything organized and always moving things forward every single day. So um, I'm going to talk more about it. The newsletter that's going out in on Tuesday is going to have this five-step process that I'm talking about, which is a um, five-step process to break through your breakdown or break through your breakpoint. We will get a title going for it, but um, I've already written it. I actually wrote it a couple months ago. Super excited to get this information out because it completely changed my world during a time that I was under such tremendous stress. I didn't think that I could even I, I just wanted to give up. I, I just didn't want to do anything anymore. And that's what procrastination does for you. So, all right, everyone have a great Sunday. I am off to yoga. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.